Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and today tutorial video I would like to talk about Vegas Advanced Safe Utility and I'm pretty sure most of you guys that have been editing on Vegas Pro had been in the situation before whereby the application just crashed on you without a notice and all of your hard work, the edits that you've been made for hours and hours just doesn't save the moment you open up the project again, the edit just disappear. You have to redo again from the scratch or for whatever weird reason, the project files itself is corrupted and you have no backup for it. Okay. So in this tutorial, um, I'm going to teach you guys how you can take advantage of Vegas built-in advanced save utility so that you can minimize such problem in the future. All right. So to get access to Vegas advanced save utility, you just go to tools and advanced safe right over here you click on that and it will load up this advanced safe panel all right so there is two mode one is live safe and one is use advanced backup both are the same thing the differences here is that the live safe are doing um, things in the background which uh, physically hitting control s while the use advanced backup it basically generate a fetch file so let's start off with the live safe okay let's disable that and enable that again so when you enable live safe it'll prompt you in an alert saying that um, it will reduce performance of the application it means that the overall editing experience in vegas will be slightly slower so that's the straight off the advantages here is that when you do your edits in vegas uh, vegas in the background will hit Control s for you without you even need to physically hit Control s so for example, if I would to, you know, color grade this video, I add like blue on the gain and I add a lift, Vegas would just straight away hit control S in the background even without you even noticing. So you don't even need to, you know, hit control S or press save on a toolbar. Okay. So any adjustment you do in the timeline, any edit, edit any stuff you do in, in the, in the project itself, Vegas will uh hit control s by itself in the background okay but the trade-off is that the overall editing experience will be slightly slower okay so let's go back to advanced safe now uh, the advanced backup basically create a batch file and um you can create a batch file in certain ways so let's start off with the first backup intervals you can see there's two same thing but the top one is on the minutes and the second one here is in hours so let's start off with the minutes ones so you can fill the value up to 30 if I, if I was not wrong for a minute. So uh, I set mine to 3 which means that every 3 minutes uh, Vegas will generate a batch file and that batch file is the minor backup. Okay, A backup interval for a minute is a minor backup. So I set mine to 3 means every 3 minutes Vegas will generate a minor backup. All right. The next one here is an hour. It's the same thing but uh, it generate based on hour. So I set mine to one, which means every one hour, Vegas will generate a backup file, which label as a ma major backup, okay? So we have a minor backup, which is the minutes and a major backup on hours. So if I click restore, you can see minor backup and major backup, okay? Now the archive daily backups are slightly confusing because uh, you're not sure what this max value represent anyway. So I set mine to tens, which is tens. The value over here are representing days. So if you put 10, which means after 10 days, Vegas will delete all the um, critical backup that will be generated by these daily backups. Now daily backups will be generated the moment you close the applications. So it will label as a critical backup. So if you go to restore, and you can see I have one critical backup right over here. So if I close this project, it will generate a critical backup. Okay. Uh, and the values that you fill in here means that I set mine to 10. So it means right, right after 10 days, the critical backup right over here will be deleted. Okay. And it will carry along to the new critical backup that been generated. All right. So that's, uh, that's how it works. The last one here is archive real time backup. It's gray out because you can't have life safe enable. You can only pick one. So if I disable life safe, the archive real time backup is no longer gray out, so I can enable it. Uh, but when I enable it, it will prompt you the same alert message as the life safe. Okay, 
uh, and the other uh, backups above it will be gray out because you can only use this um, at its own you can't have the other things running in the same time now the archive real time backups um, you can set the value max to 500 if i was not wrong it's the same as live save but instead of hitting ctrl s it will just generate a batch file simple as that so let's say you do any edits here in the timeline you move some um, uh, picture in picture you move the frame around you do some color grading every those edit points you made will be generated okay and it will generate the batch file based on the value you fill in over here okay uh, but um, personally i don't use archive real time backup because it will bloat the um the my storage okay so i rather use the live safe and have a backup intervals of minutes hour and archive daily backup this is much more better in my opinion that's how i set up my vegas advanced save utility you can set you know your own way but this is how i set up my vegas advanced save utility okay and all of this uh, batch file that we generate you can click on restore and this is some of the other files that i have worked uh today previously okay this is some of the other files that it already generate uh, let's go to the current project only which is the live save here and uh, you can pick any one of these you can delete the the backup if you wish to or you can restore the backup okay so let's open up uh in the new instance of vegas click restore and uh vegas will try to load the project okay now it's loading right over here here we go all right so you can see this is the previous backup okay you can see right over here you have the project names and the timestamp and you can save it somewhere in your computer so that you'll extract the backup away from its temporary files folder okay all right so i hope with this tutorial uh, you guys can um, improve your overall edi editing experience with vegas pro and if you have any question related you can leave it down in the comment section and until next time uh, see you guys on my next video. Bye-bye.